feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign Welcome back to FAQ The Madness If I did her, she was pleased, but she yelled out Jeff or Josh's name Let's jump into another rep Which is No, I know where, what you're saying Hang on So I'm trying to find it I, um, Maybe I went back too far back Is that it? Six Oaks, that, that is not anarchy, that's chaos. And chaos in anarchy and anarchy are opposites. That's kind of weird. Because do you, you want to read do you want to read how many synonymous words with chaos or exist in that definition on number one there? Go ahead, go ahead, Nikki. Okay. Anarchy. A state of disorder due to absence or non recognition of authority or other controlling system. Hmm. The so country no has been plunged into a. I'm actually curious. I've never heard that term, mobocracy, like mob rule. Is that what that means? Yep. Why mob rule is bad? Yeah. Mobocracy. There you go. See, that's why I scored on my ACT up in the 97 percentile. <laughs> I, I'm going to tell you something. Or I'm going to tell me something. I'm going to tell you something. I actually genuinely liked the show when uh, Nikki was on there as a uh, Nikki as a co-host, if you will, and um, when Cliff was on there a lot too, as well. Uh, and they branched off and did their show. There was a lot of uh, reining in of the of the beast, if you will, that being Todd Bryant slash generally specific. Yeah, that's just an aside. But what's coming up is more reflective of how he thinks and speaks for himself. And it is in direct opposition as to how he reacts when someone else is doing nearly the exact same thing. This is the point that I'm trying to make. I think John's... I don't like... I feel like I'm... I feel like I might be learning something about how awesome and intelligent I am. Let me, let me see. <laughs> Go ahead, Nikki. Or Stephanie, yeah. either one. Oh, God, I just barely started. I'm not going to type this. it. I'm just going to say it. Yeah. I'm eyes rolling. Jokingly, and that was another thing. Jokingly, uh, Nikki would roll her eyes. And, and when you do it in jest, I guess uh, that's okay. And I tried to make that be the case when I was making my piece. Now, it may not have come across as that uh, that way in editing. And again, I've said it ad nauseum. I'm not going to apologize for it any longer. We talked about it. And for you to bring it up as an issue, thinking and saying that uh, I am the exact opposite of seeking drama. Uh, and I'm making this video for the record to set it all straight as to how it all went down and what my thoughts are and were with regards to what I agreed with and and what I disagreed with specifically and in part a big part mind you your behavior your actions your representation of yourself your brand that is some of the things that I had a problem with and you told me that you wished that I would were to sharpen you and when i found and and discussed things or when i saw things that were maybe not the look that you were going for that i would speak up and say things i didn't always do it on the air but when i did or when i tried to and it didn't come out the way that i wanted to then i corrected it as grown men should do but it was basically no more than doing this kind of thing which is rolling my eyes and a meme just happened to be my actual face. Time. <laughs> All right, there you go. gotta keep you yeah. humble Fight with somebody who's stronger than him Canadian so when he says show me a place on the map where anarchy exists and work where tell me it's tell me it's in your house tell me it's in your house 
I'll meet you in your house. And when your wife comes creeping into my house in the middle of the night and boinks me and then goes home smelling like my semen, goes home smelling like my semen, and has you have to take her in because you don't want to aggress on her. You can feed her, you can house her, but I'm going to fuck her because you're making her vagina drier than the freaking Sahara Desert. Works. He uses that as a reason to not walk a principled ver Now, before he walks himself back, because he makes a statement immediately after this, how similar is that statement that he just made? How similar to the one that Finkel made? In jest or not? If I did her, she was pleased, but she yelled out Jeff or Josh's name. Clearly, we would all know that Finkel did not have sex with Todd, Todd's wife, generally specific's wife. By the way, I only need one woman. That's biblical. I'm just saying in a comedic way, stop being a simp. What do, you, what do you, these are things that girls have on their Tinder apps of what they're looking for, for a man. You got to be six something, something. You got to have a six pack and you got to make six figures. Otherwise you can't ride this ride boys. Now, I'm not, I'm just pointing this out. Is it not interesting? Does anybody find it interesting that he talks about those exact things, those exact numbers in that exact sequence? Think about what that, uh, what that comes out to be. <laughs> I just think it's interesting. I mean, how J with a G can you get, dude? This is like epically J with a G stuff, man. Stop being J with a G, guys. Why are you guys objectifying me like this? Why is everything being measured? Are you guys that threatened by me? Are they that threatened by me? No. Are, 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 they, th are they that threatened by me? It's insane, dude. This is absolute insanity. Um, is that a joke or... That's a joke. Oh, it's a joke. Okay. I'm, I would drive a riot at the well, I could end up being thing. like shiz, and everything is because of me. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get back. Uh, Mux made a joke about my girlfriend. Didn't bother me. Uh, oh, yeah, was I, I've been openly joking about uh, she has his wife. Uh, the joke is like, I. Yeah, wh what's the joke, you fucking prick? Uh, let me hear this fucking joke. If I did her, she was pleased, but she yelled out Jeff or Josh's name. Oh, really? Really? His his reaction. Oh, really? Huh. You did my wife. You creepy motherfucker. Are you fucking serious? You better hope your six fucking foot two ass don't ever fucking find yourself with me within fucking touching range, bro. You better fucking hope. That's not a fucking joke, dude. I'm just saying in a comedic way, tell me it's in your house. And when your wife comes creeping into my house in the middle of the night and boinks me and then goes home smelling like my semen, goes home smelling like my semen and has, you have to take her in because you don't want to aggress on her. You can feed her, you can house her, but I'm going to fuck her because you're making her vagina drier than the freaking Sahara Desert. You better fucking hope, because I'm going to chop me a fucking tree down real fucking ricky ticky tabby. It sounds like what he's talking about is doing something that affects uh, a family tree, you know. Sounds like a threat to me, and he's he's saying, you know, you said something about my, right, my wife. To the point that he's making here, on some level, and I understand what Finkel was saying, it was a joke. What he made was a joke. I don't think it's that serious. Like, you know, it, it falls in the same category of keep my wife's name out your effing mouth. I, I think it goes along the same lines as uh, what Will Smith uh, did. But to what level do does it does it does it matter? Um, you know, sticks and stones may break my bones kind of thing. So. You better fucking hope you don't ever get in my fucking reach, dude. I'm fucking telling you right now. That's not a fucking threat. That's a fucking promise. 
there will be fucking recourse on this. There will be a fucking reckoning. Your fucking ass ever ends up in my direct fucking orbit. One of two things is going to fucking happen. You're either going to fucking hit your fucking knees and you're going to apologize to my wife, dude. Or you're going to hit your fucking knees. Again, such strong words that you are saying over the internet, over words, one, and you're going to hit your effing knees to, uh, to uh, one, apologize, or you're going to hit your effing knees. Again, that sounds like a threat. And if you ask Todd, generally specific, maybe he will say, yes, it, it was a threat. It wasn't a threat. It was a promise because of what the joke that he said. Okay. Um, I don't believe that harms them, although I will own that I said that. But I want to point out the reason I went to that level of humor is because he went to that level of humor about other women. I'm thinking, okay, if you're going to live publicly and trash talk women, then you live publicly and trash talk women. So I, I went there. Uh, the f- yeah, it sounds like a fucking confession there. Good. Confession's good for the soul. Remember what I said. Remember what I said. First time, uh, I gave uh, Stone Vet a super chat. Oh, it was yes. Yeah, Stone Vet said uh, something about my mother, and I sent a five dollar super chat. And I said, "Mom overcharged you. Here's your change." And we kind of went back and forth about that a few times. Uh, but basically, I'm I'm hoping I'm demonstrating that. Yeah. Hey, listen, buddy. I don't fucking know you like that, and you sure shit don't know my wife like that. You saying that you slept with my wife, you fucking creepy fucking pedophile? You fucking pervert? There's gonna come a day, brother. There's gonna come a day that you and I are gonna be within each other's fucking reach, dude. And I hope you fucking remember your fucking words. I hope you fucking remember. I hope it was fucking worth it, buddy. I hope it was fucking worth it for you to be a smart ass, to try to be edgy and fucking witty. And I hope at that fucking moment where you're like, I should have shut my fucking cunt mouth goes through your fucking brain words are just words guys you know especially on the internet um see because man i keep telling these pricks that i keep fucking telling you motherfuckers that i don't have any idea where you live finkel no idea whatsoever i have no idea but your fucking crew knows where the fuck i live open fucking invitation to get within my fucking reach and let's fucking see how fucking shit goes out let's see how it fucking plays out you fucking twerp Let's see how it fucking plays out. You want to brag about being six foot two? Every fucking fight I've ever been in, I've been fucking towered over. Every fucking fight. Every fight. Just remember, you brag, dude. I'm just some twerp, dude. Just remember that. I'm just some joke of a fucking asshole. That's all I am to you. I'm just a fucking joke and an asshole. And fucking remember those words, dude. Remember those words. You got. I'm telling you, you got some comeuppance coming to you, bud. You better have a come-to-Jesus conversation with yourself. You better fucking find some way to make an official public apology that gets on my fucking radar and take those fucking words out of your cunt fucking mouth about my wife. Rules for thee, but not for me. Right? Because... Like I said, I believe that the, that the specific, that the specific statement that you made just now was nearly identical to that, that Finkel made many months prior. And I looked. I wasn't certain whether or not I could find it. And I'm not even going to hold you to having used the same type of moniker. The same type of moniker that um, Wrangler uses regarding Tiffany. But I think that you adopted the same terminology. I'm not certain, so I may not even bring it up. That might reach the editing floor. But again... 
you cannot escape your own mouth as it relates to the type of things that your ass says. Pause. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you have a video you'd like for us to cover, use the submit link in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this one, consider subscribing and hit the bell to be notified of future content. Be sure to check out all of the other content we have for your edutainment. We will continue to respectfully exercise our First Amendment rights and publish the interactions we have with government officials. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment. It's the easiest way for you to let us know your thoughts about our channel. I want to be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement. The top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Getting my way in to be put down. It ain't your place. All this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose it fits. I'm losing shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh!